Hey everybody, it's Becca Switzer with Roof Souls Mastery and author of Diamonds in the Sky. And today we're gonna to talk about how to handle it when customers don't wanna show you their paperwork. And usually why this happens is they don't wanna get ripped off, right? They don't fully understand the insurance process and they don't want, like in their minds, they don't want another contractor to come in and see that, oh, they're getting $17,000 and, and my bid was only gonna be 12,000 and I'm gonna get this person for 5,000 extra dollars. So in their mind, that's their fear and that's why they're kind of keeping their cards to their chest. And that makes it really difficult as the contractor because you need to know what you're estimating, right? Like if, if Allstate came out and they only paid for a repair of 62 individual shingles, which isn't, a, isn't below them, um, you need to know that. Because if you come and give them a full roof replacement estimate, it's gonna be 10 times that, okay, or more. So here's a great analogy that I like to use that you guys can use with your customers that I think will be really valuable. So you can use this analogy. You can say, Mrs. Jones, I completely understand like not wanting to show your cards and you don't want to get ripped off, right? It, repeat exactly what I said just a minute ago. And I, under, I totally understand that. And here's something that you guys need to understand about how estimating works though. Let's say that you wrecked your car, okay? And your insurance company, who's not a mechanic, uh, said, oh, all that needs to be replaced is the bumper. Like it's just the bumper and it's going to cost you, you know, I have no idea how much, but 1500 bucks. I don't know. And so they give you a bid for $1,500 and then you bring your car to a mechanic and you say, you want an estimate for what it's going to cost to fi fix your car. And that's really all you say. The mechanic looks at the damage and they hand you an estimate for $6,000. Okay. And you're flabbergasted. Like, what? Why, why is it so much more? These guys are trying to rip me off, right? But what you don't realize is that the actual car expert, okay, who's the mechanic, they looked at your wrecked car and saw not only the bumper was damaged, but there was significant structural damage and the frame was messed up and, and so on and so forth, okay? So the insurance adjuster didn't write up for that, right? The insurance adjuster just was like, oh yeah, the bumper looks bent and gave you an estimate for that alone. So your two estimates are completely different, right? There's a huge disparity in price there. But if you're simply looking for somebody to replace the bumper, if you went into the mechanic and said, all I want to do is replace the bumper, that's what I've got to estimate for, then he could give you a price for that. And I'm assuming it would be very similar to the price that the insurance company gave you, gave you right? But they need to know that um, because if not, if you just bring it in and say, my car got messed up, I need an estimate to fix it, the mechanic is going to look at it and estimate everything, okay? He wants to know all the damages. He's assessing everything that happened to your car. He's accounting for that. And the estimate is going to reflect that. So they need to know, all right? The same thing is true with your roof. These insurance companies come out and they nickel and dime a 99 point, I would love to, it's a hundred percent. Okay. Insurance companies come out and they nickel and dime everybody because that's how they save money, right? Like they do, you know, hundreds of thousands of claims and they save even just 500 bucks on each of those do the math. And so it's really important that your, co your contractor knows what they're estimating for. So I don't actually need to see the price, but I do need to see the line items because I need to know, did they pay for the bumper? Or do they pay for the bumper, the structural damage, the bushings, the, I don't know car stuff, you guys. This is, I'm doing my best. Okay, right? Is it just a bunch of shingles? And did they leave off ridge cap and ice and water shield and, and all the code upgrades and blah, 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 blah? Did they pay for one part of the roof? Did they include the steep charge? There's so many factors. I want to make sure I'm giving you the right estimate. And I need to know what they estimated for. And I'm going to be very transparent with you. And I'll show you not only my line items, but also my prices. And we can kind of go from there. So there's a lot more to this. Um, in my program, of course, I teach you exactly the script. This is a great analogy that I just shared with you here today. But I share a script for going over how to close people who already have their insurance paperwork or who don't want to show you their insurance paperwork um, and so on and so forth. There's a great script for that. And then there's a methodology that I teach where it's really easy. You just take an actual exact made estimate and you ask them a series of questions. You're like, you don't even have to show me yours, but does yours say this? And then they realize you guys are using the same pricing software and they're like, huh, and then they realize price doesn't matter. And of course, we go into, if you're familiar with my clothes, which is also in my advanced sales training program, and you learn it in the new hires if you're in that too, the clothes is going to break down the depreciation, which is how insurance companies used to pay versus how they pay now. And it explains some very, about exact and how that works. 
So anyways, I hope that helps you guys here today. Uh, this one really can be easily overcome if you know what to say. And so again, if you guys are struggling with any of this stuff, like I have made it my life's mission to make people successful at selling roofs. So I've poured my blood, sweat, and tears into my online programs and courses. I would love for you to enroll in those if you haven't already so that you can get the word for word scripts in your hands. There's no reason for you to be struggling with any trial and error and missing deals or not being able to overcome objections when there really are easy ways to do it. Um, I've made it super easy for you guys. So check those out at roofsellsmastery.com. If you're a salesperson, check out the advanced sales training program. Um, if you're balling on a budget, you can check out the accelerator. And then of course, business owners, if you're looking for ways to train your guys so that they know how to handle this stuff, put them through the new hires training and uh, supplement that with advanced sales training down the road. So anyhow, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already hit the bell here and, uh, you know, give it a like, drop a comment, share it with somebody that you work with that this could help because I know that this stumps a lot of people. Keep it crunchy, you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.